Now, Britain, we're a country that's traditionally associated with the sea. And now we're about to move into space. Uh, we've got seven new spaceports in planning. And the first one to go live, Spaceport Cornwall, has had a f launched. It launched back in January for the first time. Okay, it was a failed launch. But Britain attempted its first launch into space from native territory. Okay, from the UK. Uh, in the past, we've tried to launch things from places like Australia. Uh, sorry, Aussies. But that really fizzled out and died. But now we're building spaceports along the length of the country. So the first one, Spaceport Cornwall, that's in England. And the second one is likely to launch next. The second one that's likely to go live and get licensing is Saxavord. And Saxavord is in Shetland. And then I realized those two spaceports, one in Cornwall and one in one in Shetland, they had something important going on between them. Uh, they hark back to our old nautical tradition really big time. See, baseball Cornwall, that's a new king Cornwall. And Cornwall is associated with the sea really closely, with fishing, but also with pirates and smugglers and wreckers. And there's a part of me that really loves when we have connections between fantasy and history and reality in the future, uh, it all comes it all comes together. And having a spaceport there just made me think space pirates. Okay, Johnny Depp in a spacesuit, maybe. Although Johnny Depp isn't perhaps someone we mentioned too much, but a pirate in a spacesuit. Let's put Blackbeard up there. Blackbeard in a spacesuit. Okay, great, cool, wonderful. Oh, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Space pirates launching from Cornwall. In fact, their first launch from Cornwall failed. Does that mean we have to say uh, space wreckers in Cornwall? I want to move on from there. And our sec second port likely to go live, that's Saxavord, and that's in Shetland. Shetland was ruled by the Vikings for about a thousand years. Uh, Shetland only became part of Scotland in the 15th century. That's not that long ago. Not really, not in British terms when we counted history back in the thousands. And Viking traditions are still very much celebrated in Shetland. It's, well, I record this, it's only a very short time ago that they had a, their traditional Viking Fire Festival. I wasn't going to, I was going to pronounce that, but knew I'd ruin it. So, Viking festivals and celebrations are still live in Shetland, and Shetland's likely to be the next British spaceport to launch, and that means space Vikings. I really could not help myself but love the idea of there being space Vikings and space pirates. Uh, somebody should write this book. Somebody should write a book about the space Vikings and space pirates of the UK. Somebody should write a really good techno thriller about totally free for space pi flight with piratical or and plundering origins. Uh, that would be really fun, really cool, and it really should be done. I'm beginning to think I should build that into the Solar Stories background as well now. Okay. And perhaps because I really like this idea because, you know, I love that kind of mashup going on. I mean, I couldn't have been massively attracted to the Rastafarian Space Navy in Neuromancer. That was just fantastic to me. But it also tells me that we're moving from a time when superpowers used to control access to space, but now private organizations can. Private companies, private individuals can now move it into space and the costs are getting lower and lower. And we no longer have the superpower gatekeepers on or in going to orbit. That means something really important. It means everything's going to start freeing up. Prices are going to start coming down and we're going to get more and more interesting work up there. And we probably need it. We probably need more communications and we probably need more environmental monitoring, for instance, than ever before. That's going to be really important. So, although I really want to see somebody 
setting up a rocket launcher in a Viking helmet, and I really want to see somebody setting up a rocket launcher in full pirate regalia. I think what it really means is we're coming to a time when things are freeing up and things are going to get a lot more fluid and a lot more interesting. Okay, we don't really have space pirates or space vikings, at least yet. But wouldn't it be cool if things did get a lot better in the respect of people being able to have free access and do interesting things? Maybe the 21st century won't have flying cars. I still got my doubts on flying cars. I'm not sure if I trust most drivers in two dimensions, let alone three. But free ac access to space, individuals doing space, orgs doing space, space powers and space vikings. That's cool. I can't help but like that. So let's hear it to the space vikings and the space pirates. Let's hear it for the new generation of spaceports, the new launch facilities. Hopefully they're going to move us into a more interesting world, hopefully a better world. Really hope that. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.